I'm going to show you how to use Desmos. Uh, I'm mostly making this so you know how to restrict the domain range, but while I'm at it, I'll show you kind of a strategy for drawing these shapes. Uh, let's say I'm at this point where I've, I'm making a face, I've got the eyes down, and I want to make a mouth. I could say I want a mouth somewhere like this. And maybe that curls up right through two negative two and negative two two. I'll make up a parabola for the mouth. And let's see, the equation of this that's a parabola. That's not our parabola yet, but that's a parabola. I need to shift it down three. And there's going to be some number out here that's going to stretch it, probably. Since I have the point 2, negative 2 in there, let's just call it A for now. 2, negative 2 has to work. So negative 2 equals A, 2 squared minus 3, negative 2 equals 4A minus 3. One fourth equals a. So I have y equals one fourth x squared minus three. And since this is the conics one, maybe I shouldn't have it in this form. Maybe I really should have it written as y plus three times four is equal to x squared. So if I want to do this conic, I'm going to go over to here and type in. Uh, four, not four, that's four, y plus three is equal to x squared. And that makes that big thing. And I don't want the whole thing, I just want part of it. That's what I made this video is to show you how to do that. I only want, let's say, the part that goes from. Let's do only this part. I only want where y is less than negative 2. So what I'll do is over here, after my equation in these curly brackets that we use usually for set notation, we'll say I'm only doing where y is less than negative 2. It gives me that. Instead of y, I also could have done with x's. I could have done where x is between negative 2 and 2. Negative 2, x, does it let me do this? Oh, it lets me do that, that's beautiful. Uh, I can even, I can do x and y, I just put one after the other. Uh, let's say I want to make it a kind of sideways one, where actually I only want the right half of it. Let's also keep I could say x is here and y is less than 2. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I'm just showing you that I could have two different things. Um, by the way, the way I type in x squared is I type x and then I type the little caret symbol that looks like this symbol on your keyboard. On your keyboard, it looks like you do shift. And then you do six to do it. Let's see which was my tab. Is this my tab? No. Is this my tab? This was my tab. If I do shift and six, I get this thing up there. So then I could type in an exponent. And then I could press the right arrow or to get back down. Or I could use my mouse and click there to get back down. That's a cool graph. Okay. The end.